going in for the kills through twin gates and stuff like that. And the double smoke kickoff, very familiar to go with. But this movement is a little bit different from for both teams. It looks like Norman could be in danger even before the timer kicks off, and there it is already. Blood grenade with the bramble. The barrage. Ooh, they will latch on to him and King. Oh my god. It's gonna be first blood for a race. Actually satanic, not I mean the support does not go in vain. Both both of these teams have well, even though they are facing off in the lower bracket, both of them have underwent a really, really long road. They have had amazing results. And they are definitely here to deliver Bramble onto Bengdin. They will second down with the second lockdown and the Crystal Maiden will go down. I was a bit surprised to see see, see Ru and the Dark Below. Uh, I completely forgot oh, that it's him you know, it. from the lineup. And it's just taking a lot of damage. They are definitely applying that early pressure I was talking about. They do have the Blood Grenade available. And they are gonna try to go around. Second Bramble, they will use it up. On it, on the run, closing in. Will they get it off? Oh, oh. yes, it's close, but... No, not enough. The t ticking damage does not extend long enough. Only it will live for the time being. Escaping, the TA got the damage mitigation by the year fraction shield, and the Pangolin with the swashbuckle can easily reposition them. So, oh, Brambles, swashbuckle, and Bengen. Oh, one more last hit. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be there. Oh, that's a oh, nice Oh, down bottom, though. We have a little bit of danger, but the time walk is going to help things out. Still, the wall of replica with the vacuum forced out to use the chronosphere, making it on the run. The race coming in from the back with the rolling thunder. As the core, a little bit of a blood grenade scare off, but they want to take down armor as it is easier. Still, they will, well, they will keep the carry alive. Oof, that was a lot of overcommitment, which, you know, it turned out well for Yellow Submarine here. Yeah, satanic definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, because it's definitely hard for the Bloodsucker to start jungling. So, I, I'm I'm already seeing that he's having some struggles, and he is gonna be quite happy whenever the Fizzle Sweat is gonna be dying. Oh, you might have some action. Oh in the yeah, they get a lock on with the Bramble. There's the Rolling Thunder. They are willing to commit fully for this, but Force is saying no. Wall of Replica is available, but they will not use up the vacuum, and just. Is gonna be as the coral losing his life still. Uh, Norman a little bit out there, but nobody to die here. But yeah, that's the fun part about how aggressive genera generally these offlaners are. And I did not expect for the DK to keep up, but that's basically his specialty. Come level six, he can just jump around. Allnut still is not taking this lightly, Bagnan and, and Norman coming in from behind and almost looking like a solo kill. Oh, they will both get locked into the brambles, but the avalanche is coming in from behind Toss and they will finally make the DK go down. As the core still out there, tower, oh, it's not gonna save him. Allnut committed fully, it's gonna be two kills for Mouse with a pretty much full-on team rotation. Aside from... Um, it's not... The fate you want here, the blood bloodseeker will fail to activate on time here. And with that, you have a very big difficulty to finding up that setup with the avalanche toss jump to punish the pango. So I don't know. It's looking a little difficult here. Um the only thing that is pretty much you got going for yourself. Oh, I'm gonna finish after this because they want to hate you. Oh, yeah, they found him. Double call down in the lockdown with the Brambles. It's gonna be Norman being taken down with Supreme. Oh, Lord. Uh, no, this is insult to injury. The thing of beauty, how well this was coordinating, and they can turn to this tier one tower. So, yeah. And I know they just lost two heroes, but. They got something going for them when it comes to comparing the face sweat and the blood sigma. Once again, I love this symmetry between both sides. They claimed one, si uh, one side jungle each when it comes down to uh, vision. And they are willing to fight down Narman on the yeah. lookout. They have eyes on Stanek. Willing to jump, but finding Rue first. There's the Toss Avalanche. Oh, he's gonna manage it. It's gonna be a chrono setup. 
Even though Rue is gonna die here, the cold is gonna come in from the other side. Norman in danger, he's gonna go down. Of course, on the run, uses the tumble to join away, but they go for Supreme instead, right into the jungle. Oh, they're gonna get a lock on the Crystal Maiden. He's gonna burst through Satanic like he's made out of nothing, and now it's the DK's turn. They wanna get a lock, Frostbite, and lock him to play Supreme is there with the heavy hitting. They are chasing him, and down he goes. <laughs> Blood for the wow. Twins. Wow. with the turnaround, which is absolutely well done. They're using the TAs. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up pretty quickly in 15 seconds. So Faces Word is relying <laughs> on gold. Bloodseek is relying on more like XP. Because mm -hmm. the damage and the toolkit is already there. Oh, oh Norman, once again. Nice. I think I you're finished, gonna get guys. your open window. Yeah. I finish, guys, you can have been in, in the favor of him. But in, in the end, of course, this, it was shot down pretty early by the DK. It was well done, but... Uh, I mean, when it is... is Top 20 currently on the leaderboard for a reason. He's, he's gonna be mm. getting those experience one way or another. Yeah, and oh, this is no. a very awkward timing. They know that the Tormentor has just been taken down, instantly initiating onto Satanic Crew. Everybody's super low. Oh my god. What a freaking opportunity here, Rui. Will he make it across the other side? Answer is yes, but he did take Satanic there. Oh god. One. But they haven't committed in just yet for a big 5-on-5, five five, you know. Maybe this Roshan is going to enable them to do something about this Rui. Oh, Force does it again. Ram Ramble 4 to save with the crown, but the rest of the team are closing in. Supreme pre prepping up. Oof. Died in the air. It's, it's an absolute pleasure watching Norman play. Sky has been switching around SEA and Europe quite much. He, he appears in he, I think, I believe he's mostly playing the pubs in Europe. Oh, he's doing it once he again. He does it again. Forced that Avalanche toss, taking the race out of it. his comfort zone. But no, the setup is going to be found by Satanic as well, who finds a lot of targets but cannot take anybody down. Of course, another wall of replica vacuum up. Only is going to survive. Blood right onto your race. You, yeah, it's looking like you're going to be dead. Narman. Just as you said, how good he is between these two regions. He just delivers on the spot, man. This is your golden kid right here. Our man definitely making the difference here. As, I mean, Satanic hit the two core chrono, but no follow up. The cooldown was never added. Even if it's there, it's not really damaging once again, Norman. Oh, yeah. Once again, Norman. Frostbite. It's just not gonna be enough damage though. Still, they have the freezing field up, that's some safety, and they will find a second Bronze Guide Supreme with the hitting Terrorize. I'm gonna split them apart for a little while, but the DK is gonna go down as the core. Avalanche what target toss back the other. And as the core, yep, he will be sniped from lower ground. And with only two on the defense. You need the side blades, you can apply uh, damage to multiple heroes, and even if. If, if you're going to be successful, it's pure damage as well. And the blood mist, uh, the eggs mm -hmm. have been finished by. Uh, uh oh. Unit, so. In the back around? lines, Yellow Submarine will find a pickoff, but oh, the kill is not gonna be there. Rui looking super low. First one to be taken down. It feels like Mouse have a little bit more in the, their hands. Chrono in the back, but there's no follow up. And there's no damage within that Chrono. There's gonna be a Crystal Maiden on the focus eventually to be taken down, forced out, left out on the open, but Erase is gonna die right after that. So, oh, Satanic. Oh, Supreme. The damage is insane from him and Olnit. Yellow Submarine got completely caught red handed with their little attempt for initiation there, and GG is gonna be called up as that was the decisive fight for this match. Mouse claiming victory number one of this look. Oh. They're gonna go for it, but kind of miss out on that opportunity, man. They are locked in as five nice four men secure. Nope, they're gonna keep on going. They want to take somebody down. We didn't come here for nothing, guys. Initiation is keep on going on to the techies. They're gonna get him. They illuminate. Just barely gets him. All that still keeps up with the pressure. Nasdaqor will die there. Possibly living out all five bounty rooms for the Taken team. It's a lot of 
abuse potentially that could have happened for, from all these illuminate spammings and a lot of low targets. But hold up, there's the melody play with the casket, skewer away the disruption Luna, and is it gonna pop? Answer is one more. It should be enough. Yes, there was. An, I, I did hear a self being popped up for a second. It's rotating. I, I think the position of the lane is a bit far, but uh, oh. Yeah. They keep him slowed up, Supreme- Oh, the disruption play is gonna be completely on point from Rui, still Supreme is not giving up. Uh, but Grace, if you come up here, I'm gonna chase you away. A yeah. lot of firepower, but no kills. Yeah, as I said, the, the positioning of the creeps were uh, a bit too far, so making this play happen, uh, Magnus uh, is having a closer... Uh, it's being a bit closer to the tower, and so it was easier to get out. Once again in the danger zone, they he so is deep. not far into that tower. Illuminate charging up again, they will get a lock on him. Oof, Oral aimed, and as well as the core on the other side. Attempting for a wisdom room snatch, but they're gonna turn this side for a little bit with Ares backing up bottom one. In the end, you're gonna be having the same amount of uh, experience uh, once once oh uh oh supreme pulverized elimination oh what a burst he just turned six uh, as the nearby creep just died but he had no opportunity to you know put out the console bangan overwhelmed uh oh yeah i mean that's gonna be just a witch doctor kill here easy pre to execute but I mean, this is the second kill that Yellow Submarine have obtained so far. They still are lacking on their big ultimates pickoff. So they just are settling down for supports that they can find across the map. I was thinking about something regarding... Yeah, I mean, there's this big advantage that Mouse have in terms of their... They can dedicate five big ultimates and get them back in, within a minute and reset completely. You use a chrono, you use an RP or, or something of that sort, even though there might have been a misclick there, as we didn't see an RP being used up, but it's on cooldown still. It can attack once again, as we can see. Ah, oh, Titanic. <laughs> Absolutely annihilated here. You know? They are going to be turning their, uh, their eyes towards this uh -oh. mid lane. Oh, force? force? It's calculated. <laughs> Ooh, they're gonna commit for the jump, and they've also find Luna in the back lines. Do they want to commit for this one? Supreme charging up with the Illuminate. He's gonna be raised up in the air as Decor is gonna be the first one to die. Erase locked into the brambles, but Slitter is gonna take Supreme down, bang it in the back lines. We will throw the Death Ward a little bit too late though. Erase still is gonna die on it a little bit. Oh. In the disruption, the illusions are gonna chase him and Supreme. He has five seconds until he gets the chrono. He He's willing to actually commit for this. Two, one. Is he gonna turn? No! He's actually gonna give up the opportunity. It was so freaking good, though. It's gonna be enabling him to scare away any for the right click or. Uh, it's, 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 too, it's a very good item against the likes of Flash Rock, where you have uncontrollable yeah. damage. So. Uh oh, force. Well, it's a small pulverized on to Azdekar, but. It kills a kill still. They will find somebody more here. Rui more. forces out the disruption a little bit too soon. The splitter that he's gonna connect onto your race, but Benigan will manage to heal up, drops the death ward. Rui gets out of range. They oh aimed jumping in with one target only to RP. He will they will take his life. Terrorize, fearing away. They get a lock onto the shadow demon and burst him down with the illuminate. But there's more. It's gonna be satanic found farming up. Uh -huh. Well, they so have tanky. used up everything, so they're not going to commit any further. But you're not given that opportunities for those types of play. And I, I don't want uh, the game to end like this, you know? Yellow Submarine, they have suffered a very unfortunate reality yesterday. Yeah. And now, if they're not even given that good of an opportunity to, to save themselves from elimination, it could be worse. And just as I said it, at really least it's not the Magnus. Yeah. Uh, he has already uh, purchased uh, uh -oh. Agonims. Oh, is it Danny? I think it's fine. It's uh, fine. He does have the Chronosphere available and Olin is willing to chase, but they have used up the jump as an opportunity and... 
Never mind. Oof, oh, he's that's looking disgusting. tough. Uh, uh, I mean, the rest of the team have completely evacuated to, to roll back into farming bottom. Oh god, this is... Oh, jump is there, but he's stuck! He will pop the chrono, but he's locked into terrorized. He's not gonna be able to move out of this crown with the pulverize, and they completely get him. Oh god, what a what a mis misfortunate event. Yeah, very unfortunate how this unfolded. He was just on the edge. It's 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 hard to play to be made, but uh, he he was unsuccessful this time, and it, it costs his life. And he's once again falling off uh, of the farming endeavors and all of a sudden oh uh -oh. as decor he's gonna be a solo kill claim by force as well oh no yellow summer is looking really rough yeah it's it's pretty you know devastating oh they will commit for a jump though Aegis is gonna be claimed though they will take all oh, oh all it RP locked into place erase he is dealing damage Pretty enough to hurt all it, but still, mouse. They're not gonna. Well, they are gonna eventually back off. Yellow submarine had a little bit of a confidence boost there to try to hit her after the BKB, but still, without the chrono, you don't have that play. Yeah, it is a little some. Oh, force! He's gonna be pursuing this. He doesn't have the pulverized available. Erase pops the BKB, but the death ward still freaking hurts. They will find. Oh. Ain't to take down now pulverized in the back. We will get a lock on force for a little bit and take him down. Now the turn is there. Oh satanic, he is dealing damage, but not enough. Still Omen is gonna die as well. Ain't forces out a buyback, tries to find a target to get on high ground. He sees Norman. Bramble dance around. Rui in the back, trying to throw in some poison stack, but he's gonna miss out still. Ain is committed. He wants to make this better for his team, and he will find this cure. That's a defense. Yeah, I'm calling it. This is the high ground power that they are having uh, for themselves. Of course, it looked a bit. Uh, it might come off as oh, a surprise. Look at how aggressively positioned forces. Erase. They will find him though, but the and the polarized initiation will be dropped on the Shrek. And oh, the Chrono. They will find three. They're locked up. Oh, with the RP follow up, Supreme Bengen. They will burn down. Norman will follow right after. Force is still alive. And he is on the run, but uh, they're gonna miss out on the Witch Doctor kill potential. But th there's a question from uh, Yellow Submarine's uh, point of view where are mouse? Why are not they here? And obviously, ooh, nice, <laughs> nice draw out. That was an insanely well, ex uh, good execution from Force there. And no buyback. And, oh, God. And double yeah, siege creeps. Yeah, they're gonna pop the glyph, keep up with the pressure even further, even though top lane is deep into Yellow Submarine's territory. They will try to claim the mid second glyph of fortification, Mouse. They are not responding as it's a race fighting Supreme on the other side. And whoa, it's a triple Chrono of Spear once more Supreme and Norman will be taken down, force locked to locked onto as well, only Uses the Eclipse only for the takedown of as the core force pulverize onto your race. Will the team help him out? Oh, the RP! They'll get a lock on to go. But where's the follow up? The damage is not going through the omit at all. Titanic trying to fight this off. Force keeping up with the pressure. Doesn't have any way of stopping him, but damage output is closing in still. Really? Oh, they will find it. Oh, Supreme, get a lock on and omit as well. Nicely played out here from Ain, but still Olnit is in danger. They're fighting this off. The the Moonglyphs are bouncing. Erase walks away from the fight. It's gonna be the pulverized death. Oh man. Oh god, for for Satanic and the blink TP away. Copy the Satanic. Yeah, the, the setup was really well uh, well played out. I mean, the Chrono with the RP, oh, of course, finds another jump for onto your race though, and the Death Ward. They're gonna take Ain first. As oh, they are course. falling like highs. They are keeping up. Erase will manage to heal up completely, and they got a lock on to. Oh, what an overextension! The Luna is dead. Satanic popped the popped the buyback. Bengen is gonna be taken down, and now of course, oh, blink away at the edge of that skewer. He's gonna go home safely. It's all in for Yellow Submarine, but 
Uh, I was about to say, the Satanic play was really good uh, in that previous team fight, but Yellow Submarine's execution, once again, that Chrono RP back to back, uh, you know, and third Roshan up and ready to go. But it's, you know, it's really hard it. to keep up your distances when you're playing against uh, a Magnus who is going to be constantly like skewering, pawn tossing. Even the RP is repositioning you if you if you execute it correctly. Mm. Oh, no, it's just a. As you said, Roche is going to definitely going to be a deciding factor. Might even mm, change the fate of the game. Oh. oh, a little bit too late for the smoke force. We will find a target. The winner eclipse is going to belt through Rui, and as the core is well, both supports are out of play. Mouse. Bengen is being locked out, pops the voodoo switcheroo, he's gonna burst down through Norman, it's Titanic though, they're gonna turn this around. Another buy two double buyback will be forced out from Mouse's supports, as Yellow Submarines are out of the picture. Mouse, they wanna get everything they can out of this one, as everything is at stake, will they latch on, erase? Oh, the pulverize just went off cooldown. But... Oh, actually, they're gonna go for it. Not even drawing him out, popping up with the pulverize, and Aint is gonna drag him back. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Force is just gonna be bursted down. No frontline is available. Still, maps are chilling nearby. Erase, blowing golden it down. They will get, latch on him with the brambles, but he is closing in. A second slow. Oh, they're gonna connect at the edge of it, skewering him back. Lunar Eclipse for the defense, but he's hexed up. Oh, they're forced to fight this. Erase is keeping up the pressure actively, but this Luna does not budge. The entire team is right behind her, and now it's go time. We need to fight, or this Luna is dying. Where's the follow up? BKB is gonna be popped up with the Satanic. He's hitting, he's going through. The AoE stun, Bengen will be dot killed on the backside for second pulverize coming in. He gets a lock on to Oh no. Oh Satanic, he's gonna go down. Tumble toy erase slowed up there. And they tried to get him ruined. The line back. Illuminate is gonna take him. He's trying to run off Lincoln closer. Oh, he just missed out on that momentum, but they found Satanic and they will find Ains. It's a double dieback. Oh god. Uh, absolutely dominant performance from Mouse. The positioning was so disciplined. Their coordination and execution oh. are flawless. They find more erase. Nice blast off jump there. They got a lock on to Olnit and this Luna is looking very low there. He's but no, fine. they're gonna pop as the court. Norman in the back lines. They are baiting Erase around, and if he's the one who's looking low right now. Olnit keeps up with the pressure, they're gonna blink and forward with the body block, and they got him! It's looking like it's over, Erase popping up last buyback, but it's only two on the defense. And Olnit, look at the Moonglaive, just cleaving through the towers. Oh no, this might be oh, it. Oh, wants a jump, but Force says no, the Pulverize is there! It's a dieback, and they will find Rui as well. It's over. GG. Oh god damn it. What a performance for both sides, but it is Mouse who are reigning superior, but getting their slot into the grand final of the European Pro League Season 17. Kajda, what did we just watch here? Uh, absolutely madness, what, what Mouse just